it's Matty F, baby, here to talk about my worst tournament performance ever. Yeah, it's okay. Everyone falls from grace every once in a while. Everyone gets reminded that they're a mere mortal every once in a while. Everyone fails every once in a while. But yeah, there's a Pogo Tuber tournament. It's a PvP tournament between 17 different Pokemon Go YouTubers and I got invited to that and we got matched up with the OG J Devin in round one and then the tournament's creator so Noromon for round two so do me you and them a favor and go check them out their link is in the description and I'm gonna tell you more about who all is a part of this tournament as we uh, go through these uh, different rounds of this tournament. So we're gonna do the first two rounds today and then we're gonna go through the rest of the tournament, you know, later on. <laughs> but yeah, it's Kingdom Cup rules, which everyone loves Kingdom Cup. No, we randomly picked which one it was and we, it, the auto selector picked Kingdom and I think like half the lobby cringed. Maybe we should have asked for a re-roll, but, 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 it's whatever. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and get uh, looking at uh, my team and stuff. <laughs> so here is my squad. We have a Lapras with Water Gun. I know I went and TM'd one of my shiny Laprases, so they have Water Gun instead of Ice Shark, and it has Surf and Ice Beam. Then we have a Blaziken with Counter, Blaze Kick and Blast Burn. We got the standard Lucario, Bastiodon. Their move sets, you know. Counter, Power Up Punch, Shadow Ball, and then Smackdown, Stone Edge, and Flamethrower. Then we got a Marowak with Hex, Bone Club, and Shadow Ball, and that Dragon Breath, Sky Attack, Dragon Pulse, Altaria. And if I could change one thing about my team, I probably wouldn't rock the double fighters with Blaziken and Lucario. I'd probably switch out Blaziken for something like a Bronzong. And yeah, that's probably the change that I would make to my squad. But let's go look at my battles against the OG J Devin and Sonoromon. <laughs> so here we go against OG J Devin. We got not the best lead, not the worst lead. You can definitely lose harder than this. We have Altaria versus a Bronzong. And we're gonna go ahead and let that first one come through. That first side shock. We're like, you know what? We'll tank that and then we'll switch over to our guy Marowak and, you know, he goes ahead and switches out of Bastiodon before I get the Bone Club off on the Bronzong. So that really stinks right there. But at least I get a second one off onto the Bronzong. Marowak does not do very great against a Bastiodon. That Smackdown hurts. Um, you know, I don't even get to form my Lucario because of all those Bone Clubs though. So, you know, there's, a, there's Silver Lions and yeah, so um, anyways, we finish off the finish off the Bastiodon. Bronzong comes back in with his confusion damage. I say I got my power up punch ready to go, and then he brings in a Lucario and tries to Lucario Lucario me down. He still has a shield left, and he is able to get my Lucario down. And now I got a shield. He's got a shield. I got a Sky Attack ready from when the first time my Altaria was out there, and yeah. So we're gonna get there and exchange shields real quick and I get to the sky attack before he gets to another power up punch, power up to, yeah, just power up punch. So we do win the first match and that's when things go downhill. And yeah, I was really not looking forward to this whole tournament once I found out it was Kingdom just cause Kingdom is so like, it's just, it's just, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Anyways, so he brings in the Altaria onto my Lucario because I had switched into my Lucario to go into his Bastiodon and the thing was I almost predicted him leading the Bastiodon. I thought he was going to lead the Bastiodon but I was scared to go straight Lucario into that and I wish I would have. That's like probably my biggest regret from this tournament because I was like man I feel like he's going to go Bastiodon but I went with Lapras just to be safe because there's a couple different things that I thought he might do, but I was like leaning towards Bastiodon. But anyways, yeah, we went with Lapras thinking maybe it'll be safe. Excuse me, Katie, could you stop pulling the drawer out? Um, <laughs> he's like pulling the little cupboard out with his paw. Anyway, so now we got Marowak versus Bastiodon. This is not a great matchup, but we're able to finish him off. But now he's got like two Pokemon ready to go. And yeah, the Altaria comes back in. He's gonna sky attack us, which we survive. And I just didn't think I'd get to my my Shadow Ball, so I just did whatever little damage I could there. 
Yeah, so Bone Club does like nothing to Altieri at all. And here's where I made the worst mistake of the whole tournament so far. It just double fighter strategy. I didn't even think about it like that. I was just thinking about like getting rid of some of the stuff that he's brought, and I just I just froze like a deer in headlight and made like a horrible team comp decision here. And yet yeah, he go ahead and takes out my Altaria with the Bastiodon, which I have two counters for, but I couldn't line it up to where I I, I got it at the exact right moment to hit up that Bastiodon with one of these fighters. So now my now my Altaria is gone that can protect my two fighters from itself because, you know, Altaria can, can work up um, Lucario and, Bas or, and Blaziken, but also Altaria would help um, against this Bronze Zong more than these fighters would, so it just stinks that I, I, I messed this one up so bad. I just picked a really bad team comp and he just able to be like to, to molly wop me. So GG OGJ Devin, good job bro. And y'all go check out his channel if you haven't already. Now we have won the lead here, Bronzong versus Marowak. It does take us one second to switch, but that's okay. Thankfully it didn't take us two seconds to switch. <laughs> but um, yeah, maybe it did take us two, you know what I'm saying? No, well, thankfully it didn't take five ever is what I'm saying. But now we have Lucario versus Lapras, which obviously is a great matchup for us. We do have to burn some shields though, because we're still... Um, is Lucario a flimsy boy? He's very flimsy, right? He's, he's like not sturdy Mr. Tanky guy. He said, I'm flimsy boy. But alright, now I have Altaria versus Lucario, and I wish that I would have Shadow Balled there. But you weren't, you never know. You know, you know, I was maybe I'm thinking maybe I could show bait him. But anyways, now we have um, my turning point for this match where I come in and I, I try to fire off charge moves from the Marowak when I brought it back in, but it didn't fire them off. So that's gonna happen. Um, it's not like I lose because of that. You'll see what happens because of that. But it is a turning point of this match. If I would have got that, um, either of those off the Bone Club or the Shadow Ball, um, it would have been uh, a victory for me this first match. But anyways, there we go. We get the Flamethrower off and the Bronzong, and now it's it's like, oh goodness. This is like a, a situation where an Altaria might actually beat a Bastiaton, but no, we tie. So yeah, if I would have got the Charge Move off with Marowak onto that Bronzong, I would have won the first round. And right here, you know, we we thinking maybe he'll lead with his with his guy again. So I was hoping they'd go in with an Altaria to try and, you know, just it does pretty well against Marowak. Uh, it gets to its sky attack faster than Marowak gets to the Shadow Ball. So yeah, I just make I didn't choose the right lead and that's gonna be a big for this match. Um, I wish I would have had the Marowak up out front, now he's got to sit there and mess with the Lapras, but we bring in the Lucario to finish the Lapras off once he downs our Marowak. And here comes in Bronzong. We got to shield up real quick because we we went too far, we were trying to make sure that he thought we were going Shadow Ball and we did like a counter too many, so just trying to get that nice shield bait in going. Shield baiting going, the shield bait in his face. But yeah, it didn't quite work out, so our Lucario does down the Bronze Song, but now we have uh, Lucario versus Bastiodon in the back, so just not good management of when to get my Bastiodon into play. And yeah, now we have, we're hoping for that Bronze Song lead for a third time, but here finally comes the Altaria lead that we were predicting the last match. So we lose the lead these two matches in a row. Um, yeah, we just, you know, that's what happens when you sit down and you try to predict leads. You're not always going to get it right, and I got him I got him backwards. <laughs> he, he let Alteria game three, and I had my Alteria counter game two, and then he let, yeah, he, yeah, so just jacked that one up. But Bra or Bastiodon does take out the Lapras with the Smackdowns. Then I have a Flamethrower ready to go. I'm um, hoping to get to the second one, and yeah, we do get to the second one on the Bronzong. Still wants no part of that, but it really isn't that bad of a hit, you know? It, it, for it being super effective, it isn't completely annihilated. But we don't finish him with the Bone Club, and he is able to pretty much finish us with the Bulldoze. So, in comes his Altaria. <coughs> and our Bastiodon is just not, it's not alive enough. And here I go, um, making a similar mistake to game one of just bringing Blaziken. 
Um, the mistake this time wasn't two fighters, it was two fire Pokemon, which thankfully I was able to get rid of the Lapras. Just bad team comps that weren't very uh, ready to take down his team, and yeah, just outplayed by OG J Devin and Sonormon, and that's what happened. Kitty, could you stop with the cupboards? He's pulling his little paw and opening the cupboards. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, but this is my worst tournament performance ever. We still have three more rounds to go. And I've already lost more than I have in any tournament. I've only ever lost one game in any tournament. And yeah, just hoping I can pull off these next three rounds and keep my winning percentage above 80 for the season. That it just looks so cool above 80, and I'm hoping that I can still be there at the end of this uh, end of this tournament. We're get, we're getting close to the nitty gritty. My last chances for the season. And yeah, I just wasn't looking forward to this tournament just because Kingdom rules. And yeah, I just. Not really playing that well, but that's okay. Um, you know, if you, losers learn, and you gotta get reminded that your your stuff does stink, that you aren't all that in a bag of potato chips. You gotta get reminded that every once in a while. So, not too worried about it. But yeah, it does kind of suck to be doing this bad. But just a little life lesson that everyone's gonna have bad tournaments. I've seen ace trainers that go two and two in a tournament before. So yeah, it's not anything to get too upset about just gotta get better so um thank you everybody for watching thank you to my opponents thank you to some Noramon for uh for um putting this together and i guess i'll just name like a few more people from the tournament jimma banks is in the tournament jay fumwakis is in the tournament swag runs in the tournament and Swag Tips is not in the tournament. He didn't make it in time. But yeah, we'll talk about some more people that are in the tournament in the next matchup too. And I hope you go check some people out. But thank you again for watching. If you're new, make sure to subscribe because it, it's, it'll make me feel good. It'll make me feel good. And it might make you feel good. But thank you again. Y'all be easy, breezy, beautiful. Peace out, Bell Sprouts. Bye.